Good day, everyone. Welcome to Science for Junior High School with Merivit Education Center. This series is for Matayom 1. In this lesson, you will learn the physical and chemical properties of matter. You will also learn the different changes that matter undergoes. When you hear the word matter, what comes to mind? Thinking about it, everything around us is made up of matter, which takes up space and has mass. It means that everything on Earth is composed of matter. Matter has both properties and undergoes several changes. Example, the balloon. Color is its physical property, and for flames, flammability is a chemical property. Physical properties can be observed. They can be measured. They describe the substance itself. They don't involve changes in composition. Color, texture, and malleability are examples of physical properties of matter. For example, iron is malleable. It means that iron can be hammered into thin sheet or wire. The deformation retains its chemical properties since the identity of the substance was not altered. Ductility, by definition, is the ability of a material to be stretched without breaking when tensile stress is applied. Metals are ductile materials such as copper, aluminum, and steel. Brittleness is its opposite, where a material breaks when tensile stress is applied to lengthen it, such as cast iron, concrete, and glass. Mass and volume are physical properties which value depends on the quantity of matter present. Density is the mass of a substance per unit volume. Volume is the amount of space an object occupies that can be measured or observed without changing the chemical nature of the substance. Density is a physical property of matter that expresses a relationship of mass to volume. The more mass an object contains in a given space, the more dense it is. Conductivity is a physical property of matter because the identity of the substance does not change. For example, a copper wire is still copper while it is conducting electricity. A copper wire transfers heat from one end to the other, but it still consists of copper at every point. Matter changes their physical properties due to temperature. Freezing point and boiling point are physical properties of matter affected by temperature. So when you put some water into a plastic cup and place it in the freezer, after some time, the water changes into ice, right? The water is changed from a liquid to a solid state. And with a bit of heat energy, the ice will melt back into water. Note that the chemical composition of water, which is hydrogen and oxygen, did not change. But its state changed from liquid to ice and back to liquid. Physical properties can be intensive or extensive. Do you know their difference? Intensive properties do not change with the amount of matter, while the extensive property changes constantly depending on the amount. Here are specific examples of intensive and extensive properties. The mass of a gold bar may vary depending on its amount, but the color of gold will always be the same. Chemical properties of matter refer to its ability to undergo chemical changes, 
and oftentimes it undergoes chemical reaction forming a new substance. Here are some examples of chemical properties of matter. Reactivity is the tendency of a substance to undergo chemical reaction, either by itself or with other materials, and to release energy. Examples of chemical reactivity include mixing substances to make a medicine and the mixture of a toxic spill with substances in the environment. Another property of matter is instability. It is lack of stability, the state of being unstable. It occurs when a substance is at chemical equilibrium in its environment, which is its lowest energy state. The pH level of a substance can cause chemical change of a certain substance. Flammability is another type of chemical property. Gasoline is highly flammable. When it burns, it is converted into carbon dioxide and water. Examples of chemical properties of a substance include toxicity, oxidation states, heat of combustion, chemical stability, flammability, coordination number, reactivity, possible chemical bonds, and enthalpy of formation. Matter undergoes changes. It can be a physical or a chemical change. Physical change does not change the physical composition of matter. It may change its size and shape, but most physical changes are reversible. Water freezes at extreme cold temperature, but ice, which is a frozen water, may melt again when extreme hot temperature is applied to ice. Chemical composition of water was not changed, only its physical appearance. Here are more examples of physical change. Can you read them with me? Crushing a can. Melting an ice cube. Boiling water. Mixing sand with water. Breaking glass. Dissolving sugar in water. Shredding paper. Chopping wood, mixing green and red marbles, sublimation of dry ice. Can you think of some more examples? The second type of change is chemical. Unlike physical change, which is reversible, chemical change is irreversible. It also involves the formation of a new substance with different properties. Here are some examples of chemical change. We have here iron rusting, burning wood, metabolism, cooking an egg, baking a cake, electroplating, rotting banana, vinegar, and baking soda mixture. Fireworks and chemical battery. Can you think of some other examples? How do we know that a chemical change occurred? Here are some indicators of chemical change. A change in color. Production of gas. Change in mass. Temperature change. And lastly, precipitations. All of these are some indicators of chemical change. This illustrates some of the indicators of a chemical change. What are they again? Can you please read? Fantastic! Please answer worksheet number one. Get your smartphone and try scanning this QR code. 
and review the vocabularies you have learned.